Few countries in the world can be as distinctive and full of contradictions as Japan. In public, they always give the impression of being humble and courteous. And in variety shows, they will wantonly spoof. They can work for more than 10 hours in a row, but they can't bear the loneliness of being alone at home after get off work. They have unique aesthetics and created the ACG culture that is popular all over the world. They are also unique in the food world. In this episode, we will take you to explore this country together. Hello, everyone, this t o p y o u channel. Number 20. Rent a girlfriend to take home. Look around us, whether it is a professional winner, an ordinary office worker, or a simple social fear, it seems that it is not easy to find the right lover. Faced with such a test, Japan, which has always been famous for its high efficiency and convenience, gave birth to a brand new industry, leasing service. Need a boyfriend, girlfriend, or even any other relationship, as long as you need it, you can rent it. Of course, this is definitely not a blind date in the traditional sense, but a lease relationship protected by a labor contract. Take renting a girlfriend as an example, usually you can choose a young woman to play your girlfriend. She will go shopping with you hand in hand, experience delicious food together, listen to you complain about various things, and even accompany you to meet your parents, attend the company's annual meeting, etc. But you are not allowed to have further behavior or physical contact that is not within the scope of the service. Of course, everyone can imagine the great pressure of competition in Japan's service industry. Therefore, there is usually someone dedicated to answering your questions and providing one stop service. If you like this video, s please remember to like and subscribe this channel. Number 19 The Country with the Most Vending Machines. At a subway station or on the side of the road, if you want to buy a bottle of drink or a pack of snacks, a vending machine is a good choice. You can handle everything from selection to payment by yourself. Truly achieving zero contact shopping. These are trivial to the Japanese, where vending machines have reached a new level. There are about 3.2 million vending machines in Japan, which is equivalent to one machine for every 36 people. As a result, they combine to contribute as much as $6.4 billion in annual sales, and the average Japanese spends $60 on vending machines. But think about it, it is easy to overfeed so many coins every day. In fact, in Japan, we can often see reports that the vending machine was overwhelmed and eventually fell down and injured passers by. There were two incidents that almost killed people. In addition, accidents such as hot drinks being too hot and purchased goods getting stuck often occur. This also shows from another perspective that the Japanese are highly dependent on vending machines. Only you can't think of, there is no product they don't sell. There are cup noodles, bento boxes, burgers, and bananas. There are even some high end vending machines that can sell cigarettes, alcohol, umbrellas, golf balls, clothes, batteries, and even flowers. Even adult magazines can be bought, and the selection range is really super wide. Number 18 Incredible Japanese Variety Show. If you want to say who is the most open in the variety show industry, Japan is definitely the best in the world. In American variety shows, those challenges such as letting guests eat bugs are too childish in the eyes of the Japanese. There are not so many rules and regulations in Japanese variety shows, and the guests are also open, and they don't mind making a fool of themselves at all. It can even be said that the principle of their variety shows is that the more spoofs, the funnier they are. The most popular category of their variety shows is the whole person show. Usually, the guests who lose the game need to be punished. The games arranged by the challenge program group not only have no bottom line, but are also very insulting, achieving the ultimate effect of spoofing and tricking. For example, the guests who are punished need to compete to see who can slide the farthest on a super long slide. There is also a very popular box wall game. The guests who are punished will be hung from the top of the wall by wire. All they can do is pray that the wall will not collapse, because the program team will arrange various contestants to attack the wall in a fancy way. There is also a game called Human Tetris that also requires physical strength. 
the contestants have to cooperate with each other and use their bodies to form the shape dug out of the cardboard. If the posture is not correct, the contestant will be photographed heavily by the cardboard and fall into the water. Eating is also an unavoidable topic in the game, and there are endless game ideas in this regard. In a candy is or nothing game, guests have to bite into various seemingly inedible items, but it's up to fate whether they're edible or not. These games are not complicated to say, but they all sound very speechless. For example, there is another game where players are ordered to go to various weird places to eat. Can you imagine sitting in a front-loading washing machine and eating noodles? It's on their show. Really admire their imagination. Number 17, go to Japan's ghost island for a day. Just when we are getting used to the wonderful things in Japan, they still have the ability to continue to refresh our cognition. This starts from the 1970s. After World War II, Hiroshima, Japan was basically in ruins. But in fact, it is surrounded by mountains and rivers, and there are many shrines. So it is a good place for tourism. In addition to ordinary tour items, a line has been specially arranged for heavy taste tourists. Tourists can personally board the ghost island and experience the thrilling fun among the ruins. However, the buildings on the island are dilapidated and in danger of collapsing at any time. So tourists must go there by boat with the tour group. After landing on the island, people will have a feeling of stepping into the land of zombies. And they must have a certain psychological endurance. In addition, the most important point is not to miss the return boat. Number 16, Square Watermelon. No one will refuse a super sweet watermelon in the hot summer, right? But have you ever wondered why watermelons have to be round? Is it possible that we will grow other shapes? Coincidentally, this seemingly far-fetched idea has really become a serious business with the efforts of Japanese craftsmen. The status of fruit in Japan is not ordinary. They have a set of strict grading standards to divide fruits into different grades. The result of grading the fruit will directly determine the final price. The fruit with the highest rating becomes a good gift, which can not only express the heart, but also gain face. In this spirit, Japanese farmers not only overcome difficulties, but also grow triangular and square watermelons, and even grow a beautiful new type of watermelon, which is a must as a gift. In fact, they first wanted to change the shape of the watermelon because the Japanese felt that round watermelons were difficult to store, especially if they were easy to roll around in the refrigerator, while square watermelons could be easily and neatly sliced. Even the most picky canyafits say they're good. Of course, as this kind of watermelon becomes more and more popular, the price is also rising. Now a watermelon with a unique shape can be sold for a high price of 160 US dollars, a veritable fruit assassin. Number 15, ice cream that won't melt. If you usually care about the novel products in the food industry, then don't miss the following ones. No matter how the flavors of the ice cream we eat often change, the method is actually the same. It is nothing more than adding sugar to dairy products and adding some toppings at most. It sounds easy, but every time you eat the last few bites, the painting style will change suddenly, and you will become very embarrassed if you don't pay attention. Can't we eat ice cream gracefully? There really is a way to do it. The Japanese have developed a special ice cream in which they added a polyphenol liquid. This strawberry extract is difficult to be decomposed by water and oil, which can coagulate milk fat and slow down the melting speed of ice cream. People can finally taste delicious ice cream calmly. Number 14, Kawaii Culture. In Japan people often use kawaii to describe cuteness. In fact, kawaii culture has a long history in Japan and has already penetrated into cartoon characters, toys, clothing and souvenirs, and even some people's lifestyles have been affected by it. On the streets of Japan, we often see girls who are not young but are wearing Hello Kitty patterns. Recently, this unique Japanese culture has gradually entered Western countries in various ways. In fact, it is difficult for many foreigners to understand the Japanese pursuit of kawaii. For example, a set of cute Nintendo character costumes may only be worn by Americans once on Halloween, but this is a very common outfit for the Japanese, and has already penetrated into cartoon characters, toys, 
clothing and souvenirs, and even some people's lifestyles have been affected by it. On the streets of Japan, we often see girls who are not young but are wearing Hello Kitty patterns. Recently, this unique Japanese culture has gradually entered Western countries in various ways. In fact, it is difficult for many foreigners to understand the Japanese pursuit of kawaii. For example, a set of cute Nintendo character costumes may only be worn by Americans once on Halloween, but this is a very common outfit for the Japanese. Number 13, Rabbit Island. Let's continue the topic of kawaii. Do you know? In Japan, even the islands can have a cute style. There is a mysterious island called Okinoshima in the inland sea of Japan, where thousands of rabbits live leisurely. Because Japanese law prohibits other animals, including dogs and cats, from coming to the island, these rabbits have no natural enemies on the island and can reproduce in large numbers. With the rise of cute pet culture, this unique rabbit island has naturally become a popular tourist attraction. Visitors can get in touch with the rabbits here and spend a good time together. One of the most popular ways to play is that people lie on the grass and wait for the rabbits to come and jump on you, which is a lot of fun. While this is cute, it can get out of control if there are too many rabbits. Imagine hundreds of rabbits running towards you, isn't this scene a bit scary? Number 12, Arashima Bamboo Forest. As long as you can survive the selfie stick rampage of tourists, you won't be disappointed here. In this Arashima bamboo forest in Kyoto, the paths are winding and green, and walking through it is like stepping into a magical forest. It is very pleasant to listen to the sound of the wind blowing through the bamboo here. There are tens of thousands of posts about the Arashima bamboo forest on the internet. The scenery here will change with time. There is sunlight here during the day and the unique scenery is fascinating. At night, the tourists are gone, and after the hustle and bustle is gone, what remains here is another kind of quiet beauty. Number 11, Capsule Hotel. If one day you are tired of hotels, go to a capsule hotel in Japan and experience the feeling of living in a compact environment. Being able to sleep in a place with cheap prices and complete facilities is the simplest wish of most office workers. Most capsule hotel rooms are 2 meters long and 1 meter wide. It may be a bit uncomfortable for an adult with a height of 180 centimeters to sleep in it, but it is completely tolerable because the house price is so cheap, compared with the room rate of an ordinary hotel in Tokyo, which costs 200 US dollars. The capsule hotel only costs 25 US dollars, although it has been teased as a coffin room by netizens. It does not prevent it from having a group of loyal residents. Number 10, Hitachi Seaside Park. Hitachi Seaside Park in Ibaraki Prefecture has the most beautiful sea of flowers in the world. From gorgeous tulips to romantic cherry blossoms, from poppies to red roses, the four seasons alternate here, but the beauty is never absent. One of the most special is a blue flower called Baby Blue Eyes. Since the Meiji era, this unique small flower has been introduced to Japan from the United States, and its clear and clean color is deeply loved by the Japanese people. Every April and May, as long as there are baby blue eyes, it will become a blue ocean. Today, 4.5 million baby blue eyes are planted in Hitachi Seaside Park. When they are in full bloom, the sea, the sky, and the sea of flowers, all kinds of blues gather together, and the waves are beautiful. Of course, in addition to flower viewing, there are many other entertainment facilities for tourists to enjoy. You can even take some weird photos and post a post. After all, this is also a very important part of travel. Number 9, Sumo. As the quintessence of Japan, Sumo was actually passed down from China during the Tang Dynasty. At the beginning, this kind of naked combat was a viewing activity dedicated to the court, and gradually became a training item for samurai during the Sengoku period. Now sumo has become a national sport in Japan. This sport requires a lot of physical strength and maintains a fat body for a long time, so it has always been male players. The rules of the modern sumo game are very simple. Two players fight each other. 
As long as they can make any part of the opponent's body touch the ground or touch the ground outside the bounds, it is the victory. As simple as it sounds, unlike normal wrestling matches, sumo matches have no time limit and can lead to close games. Moreover, the sumo competition will not be graded according to the weight of the players, so it is often seen that players of various weights compete on the same stage. Of course, weight is definitely an advantage, so many players will try to gain weight in order to increase their chances of winning. Some players can even weigh more than 250 kilograms. Number 8. Hug Cafe. Hug Cafe, yes, you heard that right. This is another emerging industry that is so strange at first glance, but makes sense after careful consideration. Under the fast-paced and high-intensity pressure, batch after batch of rich but empty-hearted Japanese office workers have been born. It is conceivable that when the day is over, it is natural for them to want comfort in a warm hug. The sad thing is that most people don't have time to fall in love and even have few opportunities to make friends. So if you don't want to use the method of leasing a lover mentioned above, then you can only go to Hug Cafe to find sustenance. In recent years, similar cafes have sprung up in various cities in Japan like mushrooms after the rain. Although the name is very vague, the boundary here is actually a bit subtle. It's usually lonely men who come here after a hard day's work, looking for a loving hug from a young girl. In other words, paying for service, whether you want a hug, hold hands, or simply put your head on a girl's shoulder, there's nothing to be ashamed of. On the contrary, we should reflect on when work has become pervasive, stealing our lives step by step. Wouldn't it be sad if we had to spend money to buy even the simplest happiness? How do you balance work and life? Welcome to share in the comment area below. Number 7. Smart Toilet Speaking of Japanese inventions that lead the world, smart toilets must be on the list. In Japan, it has already entered the homes of ordinary people. To be honest, using a smart toilet will really improve the quality of life and bring us a new experience. The current smart toilets are basically large-screen electronic displays, and there are many cool control buttons that even support voice operations. There are a variety of function options, and it may take several hours to experience them all. For example, when going to the toilet, we can choose whether to heat the seat according to the weather or mood. After going to the toilet, you don't have to worry about toilet paper. The smart toilet uses water to clean, and we can also choose soft water or strong buttock washing. Of course, you can also dry it with warm air at the end, and then play a piece of music, it feels so cool. In addition, many smart toilets also have the effect of sterilization and deodorization, and even have the function of automatically opening the toilet lid. It all creates a feeling that I am the king of the toilet and that I am in control. No wonder many people will lament that their previous life was too rough and unrefined after using the smart toilet. Number 6. Ramen Bath Japan is famous for its hot springs and baths, and similar facilities can be found all over the world. But it is not surprising whether essential oils or medicated baths. There is a kind of hot spring in Japan that makes almost everyone unimaginable, and that is the ramen bath. This novel spa method was first introduced by a Japanese bathhouse. They use pork soup base as hot spring water and fill the bathing pool with ramen noodles so that customers can enjoy the fun of bathing to the fullest. At the beginning, some customers tried it with a curiosity-seeking mentality, but they did not expect to receive rave reviews. Other baths followed suit one after another and gradually became the new sign of Japanese spa. Many tourists come here especially for the experience. The owner of the bathhouse said that the ramen bath has a beauty effect. Because the pork soup base is rich in collagen, which can make the skin breakable, and the noodles in the pool are not ordinary ramen. Their main ingredients are gelatin and garlic, and they are seasoned with sesame oil and pepper oil, which can promote digestion and calm pain. Of course, it doesn't matter if you don't like ramen, you can also try healthy green tea, or soak it in romantic red wine. But be careful not to drink too much. Number 5. Japan's National Snack, Kit Kat if you choose Kit Kat in Japan, it is recommended that you must take time to recharge your energy. 
because there are as many as 300 flavors to choose from, it is definitely a laborious task. This Kit Kat, which made the whole of Japan crazy, was launched by the British Nestle in 1935. People found its name to be a mouthful, so it was changed to the current Kit Kat a few years later. But no one expected that this small change would become a worthwhile move in the future. This is about to mention Japan. In fact, since the introduction of Kit Kat in Japan in the 1970s, its sales have been tepid, and the turning point came in the late 1990s. The company suddenly discovered that during the college entrance examination period, sales in Kyushu, Japan would skyrocket. The reason turned out to be that the Japanese pronunciation of Kit Kat is almost the same as Bishing in the Kyushu dialect of Japan. This discovery can be described as a huge business opportunity. With the continuous promotion, the habit that was originally only in Kyushu has spread to all parts of Japan. Candidates will buy Kit Kats at the same time, not only to cheer themselves up, but also to pass on good luck to friends. Since then, Kit Kat seems to have mastered the secret of traffic in Japan, and they continue to introduce new flavors. In addition to regular flavors such as strawberry and cheese, there are also many Japanese limited and novel flavors, such as sake, matcha, cherry blossom, soy sauce, wasabi, ginger, apple cider vinegar and even edamame. It is really a well-deserved Japanese national snack. Number 4. Eat KFC for Christmas How will you arrange Christmas dinner? Must there be a turkey on the table? Or eat a hot pot? If this question is placed in Japan, the answer is basically the same, Christmas Eve must be handed over to KFC. KFC's fried chicken is a qualified Christmas meal. So you will see that at Christmas, there is a long queue at the entrance of KFC in Japan. All of them come to pick up the Christmas fried chicken that has been ordered six weeks in advance. So what happened to give the Japanese the tradition of eating KFC on Christmas? I'm afraid the answer will disappoint you, that's what the ad says. In fact, a long time ago, in the Japanese concept, Christmas was nothing more than a happy discount shopping season. In the 1970s, the first KFC opened in Japan put out a brainwashing slogan during Christmas. Of course you have to eat KFC at Christmas. Unexpectedly, this ad was a huge success. It is said that another reason is that Westerners in Japan often complained that they can't eat turkey in Japan. So the KFC store manager had an idea and said to everyone, then come and eat fried chicken, it's almost the same anyway. More than 50 years have passed since then, and eating KFC at Christmas has completely become a Japanese custom. According to statistics, now about 3.6 million Japanese people will follow this Japanese tradition every year and celebrate Christmas as Crazy Thursday. Number 3, Do You Dare to Eat the Eyes of Tuna? When it comes to tuna, everyone will definitely think of Japanese cuisine sashimi, right? The tuna meat is plump and every bite is a treat. However, in recent years, Japanese foodies have turned their attention to tuna eyes. In their opinion, this is the top delicacy. Because tuna are so big, their eyes are also very large. Take out the eyes of tuna and put them on the plate. It may be a bit scary at first sight, but in fact, the eyes of tuna are of high nutritional value. Rich in amino acids and deoxyribonucleic acid, not only will make people smarter, it can also prevent cardiovascular and cerebrovascular diseases. Of course, the taste is really good. Tuna eyes can not only be eaten raw, but also fried in a frying pan and dipped in soy sauce. In Japan, tuna eyes also have a nice name, called Dragon's Tears, because the juice from it is viscous and transparent, which can be drunk directly or soaked in wine. It tastes fragrant and sweet. How about it? Do you want to try it next time you go to Japan? Number 2, Baby Crying Competition in Asakusa, Japan Not to mention their own babies, most parents of other people's children can't bear them to cry, as if every cry affects their nerves. There is one exception, the Sumo Baby Cry Contest is held every year in Asakusa, Japan. Parents send their babies to the Sumo contestants and ask them to use all kinds of tricks to scare their children to tears. The louder they cry, the happier the parents will be. 
The locals believe that the cry of a child can drive away nearby ghosts and ghosts. And the louder the cry, the better the child's physical condition and can grow up happily. So who can make a baby cry, who is more suitable than the strong and terrifying sumo contestant? And so this magical combination was born. Moreover, this competition has a history of more than 400 years. Every year, a ring is set up in a shrine. Sumo players carry their children in twos to compete against each other. The child who cries first wins. I wonder if these children will remember that they won the game by crying when they grow up. Number 1. Most streets in Japan have no names. After seeing this, I believe everyone has also discovered that Japan is really a magical contradiction. It's easy to get lost when you first arrive. Of course, there is another possibility, that is, Japan is really easy to get lost. Unlike other countries, Japan has no names for roads except the main roads, and instead has a special numbering system. They usually divide the main road into different areas. And these areas will have a number called a certain banshi. Multiple banshi form a chome, and multiple chome form a wards or chome. The reason for this setting is said to be for the convenience of judging which land belongs to whom long ago. Well, it is not easy for them to distinguish clearly. After watching this episode, do you have a new understanding of Japan? If there is a large competition in the world for the number of cultural specialties, Japan will definitely win with an overwhelming advantage. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated with our newest most exciting subjects.